Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to talk about preparing ethene in the lab. And for us to do this, we need to, to have an apparatus that looks like that. First off, we need to have a flask like this. And this flask will contain a uh, mixture of liquids. So this mixture will contain concentrated sulfuric acid plus ethanol plus ethanol so it's an alcohol and this flask will be exposed to a very high temperature relatively speaking so we'll expose it to a flame and the temperature would reach 180 degrees Celsius and the flask will be closed by a stopper like this and we will add a connecting tube this connecting tube will go into another flask with uh, two openings so the flask will look like this so this is the first opening and this is the second opening in this um, flask or container we will have another liquid which is sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is very basic and concentrated sulfuric acid is very acidic so this is added in order to neutralize the high acidity of this um, mixture or this compound so um, the resulting uh, compounds will go through this connecting tube, pass over the sodium hydroxide in order to be neutralized or to decrease the acidity and then we'll have another connecting tube going through a baker containing water, a baker containing water like this and we'll have an inverted test tube. So if we do the procedures like that, we'll find out that the level of the water will uh, actually raise a little bit and we will see some bubbles of gas that will accumulate in this vacuum. This gas is ethene gas. So this is how to prepare it. Now we need to understand what are the chemical reactions that happen that led to the formation or the production of ethene gas. So we said that we'll start with a mixture of ethanol and concentrated sulfuric acid. So the formula of ethanol is like this, CH3CH2OH plus, here uh, we said concentrated sulfuric acid. We write sulfuric acid like this, HOSO3H, so H2SO4 it's just the same thing so in the beginning of the heating procedure we'll say that the temperature is about 80 degrees celsius something happens which is that we lose a molecule of water so this OH will combine with an H from here and we'll get a new compound which has the formula CH3 CH2 and then we have OSO3H plus a molecule of water. This compound is called ethyl hydrogen sulfate. So when the heating increases, this compound will break down at 180 degrees Celsius. It will break down into ethene and it will form sulfuric acid once again. So an H from here from the ethene part will go back to this radical and it will form H2SO4 and we'll have here a CH2 and a CH2 with a vacant bond so the bond will be formed again between the two carbons to form a double bond and we will get ethene so this is how ethene is formed in the lab or this is how it's uh, prepared in the lab I hope it was easy next time we'll start talking about the physical and chemical properties of alkenes 
So until then, I thank you for watching and see you.